Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to improve our transmission torrent box that we built in a previous episode by connecting an external hard drive. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do obviously is to log into your Raspberry Pi. Once you've logged into your Raspberry Pi, you can do su to become a super user then you can see a list to clear the screen now we want to connect our usb hard drive to the raspberry pi so if we do that just now and then we can do lsblk and hit return and as you can see my drive shows up it's uh, 698 gigabytes so 700 gigs so you can see it's actually sda4 however for some reason it's got multiple partitions on it but as you can see it's marked as sda so let's get that partitioned correctly and then we will continue. So we want to do sudo rtid, which is a partition manager, slash dev, which is device, and sda, else I spelled sudo correctly. Okay, so now I want to list the partitions that's available. So I... Okay, so what I'll actually do here is I'll actually remove all the partitions on this. So I will come out of parted just now, and I'll do the same command, sudo parted slash dev slash sda. What I'll do, rm, and one which is remove and number one being the partition number and then number two number three and number four and now if i do the original pseudo parted of sda if i do l to list the partition or rather p to list the partitions you can see there are no longer any partitions this drive is now formatted and ready to be used so in this case i'm going to make it a ms dos or fat32 file system so i'm going to do mk Table MS DOS. There's an existing disk label on the drive, it will be destroyed, so I'm going to go with yes. So, that previous command basically set up the partition as an MS DOS partition. We're now going to format it doing MK part. We're going to use, we're going to use primary as a primary partition. We're going to use a Linux file format, ext4, and we're going to say from 0% to 100%, so we use the whole drive. Let's see if that's worked by pressing P, and it looks like it has 750 gig. So we'll do is quit to exit the part program, parted program. And now we need to do sudo mkfs.ext4 base slash dev slash sda1. It's just a final step to preparing the hard drive. Let's bake it. Okay, it's now asking me to proceed. I'm going to say yes. Okay, now that we've got that formatted, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to set a mount point for it. So in order to do that, I'm going to do mkdir, slash mnt, which is our mount folder, and I'm going to call it torrents. Okay, now that that's done, we actually have to mount the drive. So we'll do sudo mount slash dev slash sda1 slash mnt slash torrents. Now we can check that by doing df dash h. And as you can see, 652 gig is mounted as MNT torrents. Okay, now in order to get this to automatically maintain that so that it automounts it when it boots up when you do nano, a CTC slash F stab. And obviously if you're not running your root, you'll have to do sudo. So that'd be sudo nano slash etc slash F stab. Okay, so if you'd followed the tutorial up until this point, continued with it as I had recorded it, you would have killed your Raspberry Pi. It would seem that they've changed how FSTAB works, and every single tutorial I found online had the same wrong information on it. So, well, that's kind of why it's an IT channel, so I decided to try and work out what was wrong. So if you look in front of you, you will in fact see that I have an FSTAB, and it has some changes. So the first thing is, that it wants to part UUID for the drive. It seems to prefer that. It also wants you to not just have defaults, but also some additional parameters in there. So comma auto, comma users, comma RW, comma no fail. The main part of that here is a no fail. If no fail is not in that line, when you reboot the Raspberry Pi, it will lock out your root account. The RW makes it read and writable. The users adds it to the user group. And my brain's escaping me as to why I added auto in. Also, you don't need to tab it. You can just use spaces, as you can see. So I have space zero, space zero. 
So that's how your f stab should actually look. So I should show you how to get the part UUID. So we'll come out of that just now. We'll X. We'll do LSPLK. As you can see, my drive is actually attached. Okay, so we know that our drive is showing. So what we can do is we can do sudo plk and d. Help us with a bit of space in there. And what you can see is SDA has a part UID here. So you can select that and copy it. Then you can do nano etc slash fstab. And you can see that's where I got that number that I added in here. So if you use these settings, we use part U UID equals then the part UUID I just showed you how to get space then the mount point. So in this case, it's slash MNT slash Torrents space the file system being used. So in this case, I'm using the XT4 space defaults comma auto comma users comma RW comma no fail space is zero space is zero. So you can then do control X and if I ask you to save it, press Y. And then once you've done that, you can take the table and reboot and reboot your Raspberry Pi. So we'll give that a moment, and then when it comes back up, we will check that our drive has been mounted. Okay, that should have rebooted by now, so I'll press R to reconnect, and I've reconnected. If I do df -h, if I've got one correct, you can now see that my hard drive is actually mounted after the reboot. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.